uh, founder of Warstick. Um, we have a, a little bit of a fun announcement. Um, we've got a new, brand new CNC wood bat lathe um, to kind of cre increase the uh, capacity of our pipeline a little bit. Um, this is a big deal for us because it's the first brand new machine that we brought in. Um, first and foremost, um, I wanted to thank the customers because obviously you guys buying bats and us needing to make more bats is the main thing. Um, but I also want to specifically thank our incredible uh, partner, Ian Kinsler, um, who funded uh, the purchase of the lathe, which is a huge thing. He's kind of doubling down on more stick, um, just showing all the confidence in the world after, I think, two years of being with us. So that's just a huge thing. So we wanted to thank him. And, and actually what we wanted to do in order to uh, honor Kins is we wanted to make uh, the first bats out of here, Kinsler bats. So, we're gonna cut some Kinsler bats. We're also gonna make some uh, bats for his best buddies, Justin Upton, Miguel Cabrera, uh, Matt Kemp. Uh, so we're gonna cut those bats. As far as like uh, expansion and you know getting bigger, bigger, that's always a little bit of a tricky thing. Um, we're not trying to get bigger just to get bigger. Um, we are a little bit maxed out, and we're getting to the point where we want to stick with the general premise of quality over quantity. So um, having a second lathe is actually going to help us take a little bit more time on each bat. You know, the big thing is still the wood supply. The wood supply is the hardest part of managing something like this. So but even though we can make more bats now, we still want to stick with the idea of we're going to limit the amount of pros that can swing our bat um, and really select guys that represent our mentality and are good role models for our, our youth players. But still stick with the idea that really that, that, that pro quality wood is more available to our retail customers because we're not overselling it to pros. So we're still planning to stick with that kind of idea. The other thing that we did with this lathe is um, we wanted to give it a uh, kind of a, a fun name, but something that was tied to us. So um, in honor of the uh, uh, St. Rita, the patron saint of the impossible, um, who we have a little bit of a connection to, but um, in order to hear that whole story, you would have to come to the headquarters in Dallas and maybe we'll sit down and have a drink and you can hear the whole story. But we have a real connection to that in terms of how we got started. So we've named uh, the lathe uh, the Razor Rita.